but the old fellow doesn't need an ID because <laughs> they don't make them like they used to. <laughs> but what a what a great college football game! I, I never ever remember coming back from being 18 points down and then get 18 points ahead and in like seconds let them score twice to be back in the game. And the offense did a great job of taking the air out of it at the end. But you have to give a lot of credit to all phases of the game. I thought we did a really good job on offense controlling the ball. Um, you know, defensively, we didn't play great. We gave up too many big plays, but um, we scored, you know, on defense. And um, it's huge in the game, the scores that we had on defense. We had a score on a pump return, um, huge in the game. Uh, so all phases and all players contributed to this, and it was a great team win, and we needed about every guy we had out there um, to contribute in some ways. You know, we had guys playing out there at the end, um, a couple freshmen, a couple guys were hurt, Minka went out, Eddie went out. Um, so I think those guys will be okay. I think the only guy that's probably questionable for next week will be our Darius Stewart, who has a knee sprain. Um, but we don't think it's severe, but we'll make sure of all that. And uh, hopefully he'll be back in a couple weeks. I thought Jalen Hurts did a really good job of managing the game today. Obviously he made a lot of yards rushing. Um, you know, we've got to continue to work on the passing game. And we got to do a much better job on defense, not giving up explosive plays. You know, we didn't we didn't play that bad on defense, but made mental errors, gave up explosive plays, didn't play the ball very well in the deep part of the field. Um, so, Ole Miss has got a really good offensive team, and Chad Kelly is obviously a really good player. Um, I think it was huge when we stopped them, you know, on the one yard line, and they had to kick a field goal there. But this game was so wild and woolly. I'm not sure whatever happened in the game, something else crazy wouldn't have happened, you know, past that. It was a, it was an unbelievable game for fans to watch. Uh, it was really a difficult game for an old coach to have to try to suffer through, but we made it. We made it, and I'm really proud of our players. And the one thing you got to say about our players in this game is, you know, they competed from the heart uh, to get back in the game in the second quarter. Uh, they were really excited. I think it changed the momentum a little bit. Um, kind of got stunned early in this game. And, you know, I'm really, really proud of the way our players just kept battling, battling, battling. And um, we didn't execute like we'd like in some circumstances, but those things we can correct, and we certainly need to get them corrected. So, you know, we, we got to, we're going to give the players two days off today and won't practice on Monday. Uh, I think we need a little break here. We need a little recovery. Uh, this was a tough, this was a tough game. And uh, you know, I hope we'll get, get some of these guys back healthy and uh, get ready for, you know, the next game and the improvements that we need to make. There's so many lessons to be learned in this game. So many lessons. So many opportunities to teach. It will, it will be good for um, our staff and our players.